Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning in to our October issue of Inside Darley. We're really proud to bring you today our fall-winter issue of our Darley Times semi-annual newsletter. And I'll tell you, it's just jam-packed with new products that we've come out with and talks a lot about how we as a company have pivoted into providing PPE to our federal and, and local uh, first responder customers. And some of the awards that we've received recently, we've been named one of the fastest growing companies in Chicago, but also in the United States. So we're proud of that team effort and thank you our, our customers for helping us to accomplish that. But probably the thing that we're most proud of and that we you know, really are focused on these days is corporate social responsibility or giving back and being good corporate uh, citizens. And you know, this issue is packed with a lot of the different areas that we're doing, everything from solar power on our buildings to electric uh, test motors for our pumps, to different initiatives that our employees are doing to give back to the communities that we serve. And just, e just even this week, for instance, we uh, donated com together with the Golden State Fire Apparatus, or the Pierce dealer in Northern California, Ryan and Darren Wright. Together with them, we just donated a truckload of uh, boxed water, Darley Safe water boxes, to uh, citizens in, uh, who have been impacted by the uh, tragic uh, wildfires taking place uh, d uh, in California and other parts of the country. So we work closely with uh, Cal OES and some other folks to accomplish that. You know, if you as a, a business leader or a fire department chief or a military leader, you know, you're probably looking for leadership tips. And these next three articles are really good, I think, in terms of giving you uh, some ideas on how to continue to navigate through this crisis. And the first one is put out by Dr. Travis Bradbury. He's kind of the one of the foremost authorities in emotional intelligence now. It's actually a LinkedIn article called How Great Leaders Confront a Crisis. And in there he talks about, you know, creating calm for your people and confidence for your people. Don't be cocky, you know, stay humble, but make sure that you're, you know, listening to your employees and your constituents' needs. And also making sure that you're balancing optimism with realism. And that's really the highlight of our second uh, business article attached here, which is on the Stockdale paradox on why confronting reality is uh, vital. The third business article that we've attached is put out by McKinsey. In fact, it was just named the best article that McKinsey released during the whole COVID crisis. It's called Leadership for a New Era, Four Shifts in the Way CEOs Lead. And this also talks about the humility, but it talks about thinking big right now and making sure that you find peer support and others that you can reach out to. So some good stuff here. For those in the fire service markets, particularly those who are uh, either fire department customers or perhaps you are an OEM or you sell fire apparatus for OEMs, I think you'll like this next article, and it's called Seven Apparatus Trends for the Future of Firefighting, and it was put out by the Big Red Guide. It's kind of a thought leadership article, which is big in digital marketing these days to get a social media presence, but some good concepts here. The fire service, you know, we also, in Darley, we also lost two great friends just in the last month, Jimmy Edwards of C.W. Williams, and Darley and C.W. W. Williams have been associated for over 70 years, if you can imagine. We also lost Al Kaloa, who's a great Darley disciple. Uh, you know, he was uh, with Circle, he founded Circle K Fire Apparatus in Michigan, represented us for close to 40 years, and uh, we're really going to miss Al. At the same time, we're excited to bring another Darley disciple onto uh, Team Darley, and that's Bill Alm. We've worked closely with Bill for over 30 years. He started Hallmark Fire Apparatus, who used to be a dealer for Emergency One in, uh, in Florida that later got taken over by Rev Group. But uh, Bill is going to be joining us effective today down in uh, uh, the southeast part of uh, the, st the states uh, here in the United States, representing our, our pump division. He'll also be working with some of our military customers. So thanks for tuning into this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing, to support you. We hope you'll reach out to us.